This episode is brought to you by Google Pixel, the official fan phone of the NBA and WNBA. The new Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro are built different. How? Take the audio magic eraser tool. It helps block out distracting crowd noise so your play-by-play commentary sounds crystal clear. The only phone engineered by Google brings out the audio you care about so your videos sound as crisp as they look. Learn more at googlestore.com forward slash pixel NBA. Audio magic eraser requires Google Photos app. May not work on all audio elements. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T-Moz Boss Show. And in today's episode, so I wanted to overall talk on people that just talk negative. Like, have y'all ever had, like, a friend or just somebody that you know that's, like... And I've seen where it's, like, been turned into comedy skits, so I know I'm not the only one that has dealt with this. But, no, like, people that just speak negative on everything that you will talk on. Like, you, you could be... I don't know, like trying to turn like a negative into a positive. And then there's that one person that just just has it just stays a negative. Like, fam, please stop. You're ruining the program. I'm trying to do something nice here. I'm, I'm trying to do something positive here. You can't have positivity with negativity. Like, if you know me, I'm a positive person. I always will be a positive person. You know, unless it's like on situations, you know, where it re- requires some negativity, then yeah, but... Other than that, like, I always try to find, like, the the positives in things. And, bro, like, there's people out there that just make it so hard. And I'm like, bro, like, I, I had to say, I, I had to start noticing this stuff when I was in high school. Like, I there there was one girl where it was like, she, she wasn't really a negative, like, talker and stuff. But she, she just had, like, a vibe about her where I'm like, fam, you know, it smile like I and it tripped me out like when she'll post like pictures of herself on social media smiling because I'm like fam where are where are you when we're at school (laughs) like where where is this person when we're at school like you I'm telling you fam like she she was just one of those people where I'm like hey you know what like I I'm I'm not gonna be hurt if I don't see you after I graduate like if I see you, I'll give you like that universal, you know, head nod. But other than that, yeah, I I just don't, you know, that that's somebody where I'm like, I, I will see them occasionally on social media. But other than that, like I am in friends or following this person anymore. So yeah, it, it was just, you know, I think they create a new like new accounts or something like that. You know, they like to just get off topic. Like it, it's it trips me out how like when a person they create like new accounts because they've had like some like crazy like stalkerish significant other and i'm like fam like i i see things like that like talking to those weird exes out there hey, hey stop that because like i'll have it at times so i'm having to refollow a person re-add a person refollow a person re-add a per- y'all got people out here doing way too much so just just stop that all right but anyways now back on topic back on you know today's topic for this um episode but no, that girl, I remember the one time when we did have um, a conversation, it just, it tripped me out because I, I thought I was dreaming. Like, who knows? Maybe, maybe this is like who my like future wife is, but I, I would like to hope and think, you know, like if it were to get to that point, like, can, can we, can we just please be happy? <laughs> like, I, I don't think I can have a whole family like where if the kids take after her, and then everybody's just sitting around the dinner table, Matt. I will be so miserable, bruh. I, I honestly would. I, I just, I'm like, no, you guys gonna have to smile. We're gonna have to watch a comedy movie. Y'all heard of Friday? I'm like, we gonna watch Friday. I'm like, but we, I, I can't go out like this. I can't live my life as a parent like this. No, I, I just, I just can't. I definitely, I definitely would have found like a spot where I could just crack open a cold Red Bull because I don't like drinking beer. So I just crack an open, crack open a cold Red Bull or maybe a bottle of Fiji water, just just in case if I don't feel like drinking an energy drink because it may be late at night. But just going out somewhere, just sitting back, drinking on it, listening to music. If I had to deal with that twenty four seven, but no, the one time though when we did have a conversation, I remember we were talking on wrestling and how she said she was a wrestling fan because of her like you know her dad watches wrestling, and I'm like. This this isn't real. I'm like no, like everybody that I talk to when it's like when I'm talking about wrestling, they either don't watch it, don't like it, think that it's fake. Like they have every 
negative things to say about it. But you, out of all people that I'm cool with at school, you mean to tell me you are a wrestling fan? No, I don't believe that. No, I, I just, I don't believe that. Like, I'm I'm sorry, but I'm like, I, I just, I can't, like, I, I, I want to believe it, but at the same time, like, I don't. And there was, like, two, there was, like, two times where I had to say, like, there was, like, a positive, like, interaction with her and stuff. But, no, that time, it, it, it's still something that hunts me till this day, because I'm like, I, I just don't, I don't see that. Like, I don't, I wouldn't know how to react if, like, if I never, if she never would have told me that, and then I would have seen her, like, at a wrestling event, been like, wait a minute, I remember her, she, she used to have, like, you know, just the, the angry vibe about her and stuff, what, this girl got on, like, some, like, you know, ultimate warrior face paint, she's yelling and screaming, meanwhile, I'm just kind of sitting down, content, watching this, I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute, time out, what, Twilight Zone episode am I in right now, no, this is not adding up, these, these numbers ain't adding up, okay, like, right now, like, nah, that, I, I just, I don't, I, I'm not, I'm not getting this, this ain't, this ain't, making sense to me and stuff so but anyways no that was like the one time where i just you know that is definitely one of the most conf- that's like like top 10 confusing moments of my life like no i i, I still to this day think about that and i'm like it, it's it's crazy you know but and then there was another time when i remember because uh no like at this table there would be like a lot of like girls that would chill there and i was the only guy i had no issues with that i had no problems with that i never looked at it as like strange or you know oh i'm talking to all the girls and stuff i'm like friends with these girls these are girls i chill with in the morning it wasn't like we're like that throughout the whole day like nah i'd just be sitting there on my uh phone meanwhile they having their conversations about whatever and stuff and i'm like okay like do I jump in? I'm like, that's, that's what I was doing. But anyways, um, yeah, I was just like, they were just friends I would chill with in the morning. I didn't like see anything of it, but no, there was a time where a kid, he came up and he was all like, and the girl was there and he was all like, Oh, Todd, he gets all the girls, don't he? And I'm like, just kind of looking, I'm like, bro, I'm just chilling here. Like, and I'm just kind of like not trying to like really feed into it and stuff. And I'm like, I'm not like, I'm not going to like claim that I'm like, I'm talking with all these. I'm like, bro, I'm just sitting here just chilling. Like, what are you talking about? And so she just comes up out of nowhere. Like this was the loudest I've ever, like, it, it's, it's crazy because she showed like her, like two emotions that I've never seen, you know, before. And yeah, the wrestling, and then, like, she just was, she got super loud, started yelling at the guy, the guy just got, it just got awkward, and then, at this point, I'm kind of, like, I'm just looking up, because I'm, like, fam, what, what's, what's going on, like, you know, what, what was that, I'm like, was that a setup, like, was this, was this supposed to happen, or was this not supposed to happen, I'm, like, I am so confused by what is going on, but, other than that, though, like, we never really outside, because she was, like, I think, I can't remember who at that friend group she was chilled with, but I remember she was chilled with somebody there. I don't think it was everybody, but she would, like, talk with everybody at certain points in times, but it was, like, me and her, like, we we were kind of, like, I, I think we might have had, like, maybe a brief conversation or something. I don't know, but anyways um but yeah other than that it was like fam like she we the one time then the one time which we was talking about wrestling that was like over through social media and stuff so i can't even remember because i'm trying to think did she did she i don't know if she like switched schools i think she switched schools i think that's what it was she had switched schools and then that's when i i think i had messaged her or something just to uh you know see how she's been and stuff but yeah, other than that, I was like, bro, like, that was just, you know, that was just wild and things, so, but, yeah, I was like, but other than that, it was like, she, she just, I don't know, I guess, like, maybe she would be a bad example, she, but she just had, like, an attitude, and I'm like, nah, like, if they do a, a remake of NWA, like, she's not even black, but I'm saying, like, she, she looks like she could be, like, mixed or something, like, I don't know, but, anyways nah like she she's definitely like leading you know that that group and stuff she she has to be either the jerry heller the dj like um dj yellow or somebody like the the lights yeah the light skin did you know dude in the group and so she she has to be him but anyways um yeah i don't know though i don't think i don't think her parents because i'm trying to think like she she looked mixed but her name was like it, it didn't come off as like it could have been like a 
a black name or something like maybe her first name but her last name i don't know it's kind of seemed like it was like italian or something but anyways uh but yeah like no like but i'm trying to think like was there other people uh that would be i i feel like maybe like people on social media that i've like that i've talked with and stuff like yeah i feel like maybe it was like some friends from school where it's like every you know conversation is just a negative conversation and stuff but i i try to avoid it i know people will be like you know how do you like exclude yourself from that because it, it may come off as like i don't know too much on the topic and the reason why i don't know too much on the topic is because recently i've been trying to stay away from people like that so overall how do you stay away from people like that you just don't bring up nothing to them you know if my thing is this if you talk on something on social media and this person always wants to comment in on something that you're ignore them like ignore them so they can get the hint and if they're like hey why you always ignore my comments and stuff i'm like because you're always saying something negative i'm saying like you could go and be like uh got got it um a new uh job interview today and then they'll say some stuff like oh well, i'm pretty sure this um place probably is gonna have a lot of job interviews so don't get your hopes up like why would you say that like what, what what's the what's the reason of saying that like who who upset you today but or or you're be, be like oh i decide i'm gonna start a youtube channel today and they'd be all like there's a lot of people starting youtube channels so most likely you're not gonna make it all right strike two strike three you're getting unfriended so don't don't say nothing else do do not say nothing else today and they'd be like oh man it's crazy i found five dollars when i was walking outside today that five dollars could belong to somebody and you they probably really needed that what if that's somebody's rent money really Really, five dollars? Yeah, five old dollars. What is this? The medieval days or something? Or back in the day when Andy Griffin and freaking Barney Fife like was rent costing that much back then? I'm saying like probably rent was a little bit more than five dollars, but I'm saying it's stuff like that where I'm like, bruh, can can you just be happy for my accomplishments? Okay, like I'm saying like can can you just please be happy for my com- like and then no, you can do something big or major, right? Like you could be like, oh man, you know, I just got, like let's say you're in the music, let's say you like, oh, I just got nominated for a Grammy or something. That that's big. That's that's some major stuff. I'm like, regardless of whether you win or not, fam, the fact that you got nominated for a Grammy, like no, that that's some top tier leveled stuff stuff right there like i'm saying like you like somebody tells me that they get that they're getting nominated for a grammy i'm like hey yo this is insane like no no like i i need to know like when to like for you know if you win then that's gonna be even crazier but no i did like let me know when that part shows up they were like oh but it's not one of those like grammys that shows up on tv you gotta go to the website or something to see well okay send me the link i would like to know i would like to screenshot it and i'm gonna write like write out this long thought out heart you know like warm heartwarming like you know message because i'm like no nah, that's crazy but then there's the the, the the freaking the Debbie Downer, the negative friend, where they're all like, a lot of people get nominated for a Grammy, and you're not even um, being shown on TV, so most likely you won't win. And I'm like, fam, like, can you just, no, we, no, we don't, you just don't say nothing. You just, just keep it, like, keep it to yourself, just don't say nothing, all right? But anyways, um, I'm trying to think that, oh, you know, like, shout out, well, I feel like that, I like, well, I don't know, like, they, they, it's just, you know, a part of my childhood and stuff, but I, I have to say, like, you know, this don't happen no more, but my sister. Now, my sister, she really wasn't, like, she didn't went and do things like that, where it's, well, there was a time where she did kind of do something like that. It was a one-time thing, though, but, no, actually, there was a couple of times when she did some stuff like that, but that's the thing, like, you're you're dealing with T-Mouse, boss, like, I, I put down Uno reverse cards, like, I will flip that mess back on you, and so, but anyways i think there i did tell the story i I, yeah i know for sure i did tell the story and for those that are new there was um a time when i was going shoe shopping and there was these red nike shoes that i wanted so bad because no it was crazy because i was like i really wanted those or i didn't want the shoes at first but then i remember the next like i saw them again and it was like dang those shoes are actually pretty nice though and so i was like you know what I want to get those shoes. I, I was like, hey, yo, dad, remember them? Those those the shoes that you showed me last time. I'm like, I'm going to go ahead. You got these in a size 10? Let me go ahead and see these real quick. My sister, you know, freaking, she just had to come in and quote unquote save the day. But yeah, she approaches me and she's like, those shoes are a little bit too red. And I'm like, okay, and? I'm like, don't matter. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with the shoes. I'm like, leave me alone. Get out of here. And so 
then my dad comes over and he's all like, hey, your sister just told me, like, you know, like, there could possibly be gang members at your school. So maybe it's not the best idea you get those shoes. And I'm like, fam, are you serious? I'm like, do I remotely look, does a nerdy looking kid with glasses look like a gang member? I'm like, are you guys serious right now? You think some nerdly, no, 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 no. Let's just paint this picture. Let, let's just paint out the pictures of the clothes I was wearing back when I was in school. Do you think a kid showing up to school in a t-shirt with dinosaurs, with lasers coming out their eyes, because that was like the thing back then, wearing some skinny jeans and these basketball shoes. Do I remotely look like a gang member no 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 let's even talk on the one shirt that i had where it was like a a, a, a a ape on it with things with some glasses and it was this blue shirt do you think that that like wearing them shoes and then wearing now i can understand if the my shirt pants and the shoes was red i wore nothing but black pants like i would wear like different color like maybe it was like some like gray pants uh, uh, black pants, khakis, all that stuff, like, those were my go-to pants, now I just wear black pants and stuff, but I'm saying, like, I, what gang member do you know that wears those type of things, I'm saying, like, look at the, like, I'm, what, and so, yeah, I was, fam, hot, okay, like, no, I still got it on my, um, you know, like, that, that's the one, those are the one pair of shoes where I'm, like, I have those on my list, I'm, like, Nike, if there is ever a time where I go to the Nike headquarters, um, in Beaverton, Oregon, I am asking those guys, can I see, like, a catalog of all the shoes that came out in, like, 2010 and 2000, well, yeah, 2010, because that's when I started my, uh, senior year, or not senior, my freshman year in, uh, high school and stuff, so, yeah, I'm, like, like, yeah, just show me all the shoes that came out from 2010, 2011, like basketball shoes, all that. Because I'm there, there might be a website where I can go to and stuff and I can find out. And you best believe when I do, because I know I will, when I do find out and when I do buy them pairs of shoes, oh yes, the first person I am showing them to is my good old sister, okay? But no, I remember then she was trying to do that with some other shoes and it was the same, or so it was the same shoes, different colors. So, because for those that don't know, Nike shoes are just shoes. And well, yeah, I think everybody knows that shoes be coming in in different colors and stuff. So I went and got ones that was like silver and stuff. And uh, yeah, my sister was all like, well, those ones don't. I'm like, hey, yo, no, no, don't, don't even try it. I'm like, you just go over there. Just be quiet. Don't say nothing else to me. And then she was still trying to like sibling, sibling rivalry pretty much. And so, yeah, I was, bruh hot, bro, I was heated, but, no, nah, um, and then even, like, on YouTube, like, uh, dealing with people on there, where it's, like, people try to, like, downplay, like, because, no, there was the one person, uh, where my, so, for the, I think I've, I have talked on this situation before, um, but, so, there's a friend of mine, she does, uh, news videos, and, um, she, uh, her YouTube channel name is, uh, Hot T, I think I might have, like, shouted her out and stuff, so you guys may know who she is, but anyways, um, but you know, like, uh, uh, she, she'll do these videos where she's, like, talking on, like, the things that's going on, like, on TikTok, YouTube, like, you know, like, stuff like that, and, um, it'll be people like Trisha Paytas, like, Charlie D'Amelio, uh, um, Shane Dawson, freaking who else, so, you know, like, there's, like, just, like, you know, the stuff where it's, like, the, like, the tea topics and things, so, um, anyways, there was at one point in time where I was reacting to her videos all the time. I have to say, I have, I've slowed down with a lot of different content creators and stuff because I just was reacting to them so much and, um, was, you know, now I'm just kind of like venture out and just find other things to react to, but I will like from time to time will react to her videos. But anyways, um, no, I will react to her videos and this guy would always leave some negative comment about her. And I'm like, do you know her? No, you do not. Do you watch her videos? No, you do not. You don't know anything about this woman. Leave her and me alone. But that's, it was annoying because I'm like, bro, stop clicking. I'm uploading all these different videos. I got thousands upon thousands of videos on my channel. Watch those videos. But stop commenting on her videos trying to like downplay what she's doing. I'm still reacting to the videos regardless. So anyways, um, but no, I remember the last time like I uh, had like an interaction with them and things and he was talking about like, oh, I'm going to unsubscribe because he was like all this other stuff. And I'm like, bro, bye. I'm like, in fact, I'm 
about to just, no, you about to just get blocked, because I'm like, I ain't even trying to hear all that, so, yeah, it's just things like that, where I'm like, bro, keep that stuff to yourself, I don't care, like, I do not care about the negativity that exists within you, do not tell me about anything negative in your, like, unless it's, like, some stuff where if you need, like, help, or if you need somebody to talk to, okay, but if you just gonna be negative on stuff, like, if I'm giving you advice, and you just trying to see the negatives, I'm like, like, that, I, that's, like, one thing that I start, to, I'm starting to find annoying, it's like, well, I'm trying to, like, help out somebody and giving them advice, and I'm like, fam, let me help you, if you don't want my help, just tell me that, I, I will not say nothing else, but I'm like, if you're gonna be saying all this, the pressing and sad negative stuff i'm like fam i am going to help you i'm going to say something all right so but anyways uh yeah and that being said but yeah people like if you are that person stop being negative okay just just stop it like no no more there's different forms and ways of it just stop it all right but anyways, and that being said, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching and or listening. If you're viewing this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're viewing this on the podcast streaming service, make sure you follow or subscribe, however it's set up. Make sure you subscribe to one of my 40 YouTube channels. Follow me on Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, and Instagram at TMozBoss. And make sure you follow my Facebook page at TMozBoss Fan Page. Also, if you're purchasing any tickets from SeatGeek, make sure you use my promo code TMozBoss. And when I have $20 off your first purchase, and make sure you use my supported credit code for Epic Games TMozBoss. And in the meantime, I will talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching and or listening and peace